Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yes, I got a voicemail to call this number. Hello? Yes, how can I help you? Yes, I got a voicemail to call this number. Something about my Social Security. All right, sir. When did you receive the call from us? Oh, it's about 1220. 1220, okay. And who am I speaking with? Can I verify your first name and last name to pull out your records? First name is Dill, D-I-L-L. -L. Okay. Mr. Gill, what is your last name? Can I verify your last name? Do, D-O-U-G-H. D-O-U-G-H, that's correct? Yes. Okay. And your first name is Gill, G-S-N. Got I guess in Indiana, no, no, Ellison no. Larry, D, D Ellison is, Larry. No, D isn't David. Dill, D I L L, Doe. Okay. Okay, I got it. And what is your last four digit social security number, Mr. Dill? One to four six, your file. One four six three. Okay, one four six three. Okay. Uh, did you receive any case ID number from us to pull out your records? No, I didn't hear any. Mm -hmm. Can I verify your date of birth? 316-1950. that's correct? Yes. Okay. Now, Mr. Dill, listen to me carefully. The reason behind this call is to inform you that under your social security number, there are so many fraudulent activities going on. So What's we have mean? a federal authorities to place... Sorry? What's that mean? I don't know what that means, fraud all those fraudulent activities. Uh -huh. That I will explain you, okay, step uh, by step, okay? Okay. Okay? Yes. Okay, I told you, Mr. Dill, uh, the reason behind this call is to inform you that under your social security number, there are so many fraudulent activities going on. So we have a federal authorities to place a block on your social security number. So you have any idea about this case? No, I don't. And how can you block uh -huh. it? Okay. I don't, I don't know. Okay. So in this case, Mr. Deal, I will go ahead and I will read your information. I will read your affidavit so you can better idea what is this going on under your social security number, okay? Yes. Okay, but make sure, Mr. Deal, once I will read your information, once I will read your affidavit, make sure you do not interrupt me between. I will give few time to speak. You have any kind of question, then ask me, but do not interrupt me between, okay? Okay. Okay. And before that, let me ask you one question. Have you been to the state of tax? Have you been to the state of Texas before? Texas? Yeah, years ago I used to work down there. Yes. Okay. I or worked, have you I been on a porcupine or have you been farm? The, yes. Or have okay, you been yes. the victim of identity fraud? Have you tapped by your identity fraud? No. No. Okay. And what is the zip code number, sir? Current zip code? 13118. Okay. Now listen to me carefully. The thing is that someone is trying to use your personal information for identity and had committed many fraudulent activity in the state of Texas. Like, we have found abandoned car on the south border of Texas. The model of the vehicle was Toyota Covela with the VIN number TX982071. The car has some blood and blood inside it. I don't, have, I don't, I don't have a Toyota. I don't sir, have a Toyota. I don't have a Toyota. Sir, sir, sir. I told you, sir, I told you, do not interrupt me between. Well, you said there call. was a Toyota. I don't have a Toyota. But the thing is that, sir, someone is using your social security number. So that is why we are contact to you. Okay, but I don't have a Toyota. But, sir, so that is why I told you, let me speak. I told you, do not interrupt me between. Once I will finish my part, you have an idea what is this going on, okay? Go ahead. Okay, but do not interrupt me between, okay? So listen to me carefully. I told you the thing is that someone is using your social security number to one legal purpose and we found abandoned car on the south border of Texas. Inside the car we found some drugs and blurs. And hence after investigations we found that car was rented under your name and your social well, security uh, number. And I, there are two addresses. I didn't rent no car sir, in Texas. Sir. sir. What? Sir, I well, told you ahead. sir, you, you do not interrupt me between. But I did not rent a car in my Texas. Part. So you can do one thing, sir. Let me go ahead and let me block your social security number, okay? No, I don't want that. So, so Mr. Deal, can I explain you, but why... Go ahead, explain. Why are you... Please. But do not interrupt me between, okay? Do not open your mouth when I speak. Pardon me, pardon me? You work for the government and you think you can talk to me like that? 
Yes. Is that the because way you act? I told you. I told you, you did not interrupt me. What's your name? I'm going, to, you? I'm going to report you. What's your name? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and let me go ahead and let me block your social security number. I need okay? your name. Let me go ahead. Write down my name. Yes. You need my name. Yes. My name is Kevin. My first name is Kevin. And my last name is Brown. BSN Boy, RSN Robert, OSN Oscar, WS Whiskey, and like a Nancy. Okay. Okay, Kevin. And my batch ID number is 0227. Zero go ahead and report, report it, okay? And let me go ahead and let me block your social security don't, number. I don't want it blocked. And That's what I'm trying to tell you. So, sir, so, sir, so, sir, why you are not understanding me? I why you are not listening to me? When I explaining you, when I, when I will go ahead and I will explain to you, you, are, you, are, you, you can speak and speak between. Why, sir? Because, trying I, to help you. because trying I'm trying to, trying to tell you it was that I didn't run a car. That's all I'm trying sir, to do. Do not tell me, sir, do not tell okay. me anything. Just I won't you tell you anything. me okay. what I'm trying to say. Okay. What I'm trying to say, sir. You okay. can't say anything. I will give, I won't say anything. I will give Go you ahead. time to speak. You have any kind of question, you can ask me then. Okay. okay. You have any question in your mind, you can ask me. I will give you a time. But okay. Uh, okay, so listen me fully and do not interrupt me between, okay? okay and you want to report me, you can report it, okay? I don't care. You don't care? Okay. okay. Because I'm doing, I'm doing my work, okay? And we are talking, this line has been federally recorded. Oh, okay. Go okay? ahead. I didn't know that. So listen me carefully. The thing is that someone is trying to use your personal information for identity and had committed many fraudulent activity in the state of Texas. Like we have found abandoned car on the south border of Texas, the model of the vehicle was Toyota Corolla with the VIN number TX82071. The car had some blood and drug residues inside it. Hence, after investigations, we found that car was rented under your name and your social security number. And there are two address linked with the title of the vehicle, which is 6200 North Hundred Avenue, Apartment B. Houston, Texas 72008. It was raided by the U.S. Marshals and team, but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence, huh. but we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which Whoa. is an abuse drug and some documents from the financial institutes such as Chess Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, TD Bank, and all this paperwork has your name on it right now. Your name is under federal investigation in the state of Texas with two criminal charges. Wow. Race mm. against your name is drug trafficking and money laundering. I because after investigating these documents which we have huh? found in the residence, we have recovered that almost two hundred thousand of dollars Ooh. had been by local I... and internationally with SPS to us and right now your name is under federal investigation. So Mr. Dell, as we are having very short time and what you have done was totally against the law of I did do it. Once this case house, sir, let me complete. Uh, Let me complete, sir. Okay. Okay. Mr. Dale, once this case go to the courthouse, you have to fight this case against the federal government. And if you lose this case in the courthouse and if you found guilty inside the courthouse, then you have to pay more than $85,000 as a penalty. And you have to go behind the bars for the next 10 uh, years. I'm not going behind and the bars. Well, we will freeze down all your bank accounts so you did not be able to receive any kind of social benefits from the government. Uh, how In this you? regard, we have... Sir, 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 do you do not interrupt me? I live me. on social security, so how can you stop it? I don't understand. You're making me nervous. Sorry? That's what I live on, social security, and now you say you're going to end it. Sir. So at this point, the thing is that someone is using your social security number right. on legal purpose, I the state of taxes, okay? So we are trying to you because the thing is that, sir, at this point, we do not know that who is a real suspect. At this point, we do not know that who is a real criminal who is using your social security number. If you're ready to cooperate with the department, because we need your cooperation. If you're ready to cooperate with the Social Security Department, it is very easy to get a person who is using your Social Security number to one legal purpose. So are you ready to cooperate with the department? What have I got to do? 
At this point, we are going to block your social security number and we are going to receive the new social to you. Once we can generate new social security number to you, it is very easy to catch that person who is using your social security well, okay, number. Okay, just send, send, me the new, send me the new card. That's all right. So how many bank accounts do you have under your name? One. One bank account. Which bank you are banking? What is your bank name? Let me let me explain you one more thing. Uh, there is a money laundering case, drug trafficking case, your social security number. Money laundering means in the state of Texas there is a 22 fraudulent bank account is going on under your name and 13 credit card. So at this point... But not mine. Which is your... Sir, sir, I told you, at this point we do not know that which is your true bank account. Okay. So we will go ahead and block the bank accounts, whatever you have under your name. So first of all, we need to safeguard your true belongings. So can you verify me how many bank accounts you have under your name? One. And which bank you are banking? What is your bank name? TD Bank. TD Bank? Yes. That's correct? Yes. This TD Bank, you have a checking saving both account. You have only checking account? I got both. Both account, okay. And this checking, what was the balance you hold in your checking account? I don't know. What was the probably, balance you... I don't know, probably about 800. 800? Yes. Okay. And what was about your saving? Probably about 1,200. 1,200. I told you I'm in Social okay. Security. I don't have a lot of money in the bank. Sir, sir, money is not concern here, okay? We okay. are trying to help you. We are trying to give you new Social Security number. We work for the government, okay? We work. We, we can't work for the money. It's not concern here, okay? Okay. <laughs> Shh, quiet, Pally. Pally, Pally, be quiet. Listen, listen, Mr. Dell, Mr. Dell, listen me carefully. Yes. Let me explain you. Okay. okay. Just you need to listen me, okay? So All you can, right. you, once you speak, sir, you can't explain. You can't understand, okay? Okay. Once you speak between, you can't understand, sir. Okay. Let me explain okay. you one more time, okay? Okay. 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 Listen. Under your name, under your social security number, someone is using in the state of taxes. At this point, we do not know that person who is using your social security right, number. I got that part. Yes, purpose. I know that. You told me okay. that. So that, so that, so that is why, sir, we need to block your social security number and we need to receive the new social to you. Okay. Once we can generate I, I new said social just social go ahead and send me the sir. new one. Sir, sir, listen, listen. Let me, let me speak, sir. Okay. I told you, you can't speak, sir. Okay? Well, you have a question, you can ask me, but you, you can't, you do not interrupt me, sir. I'm sorry. Once I'm I so will sorry. Explain you. I'm upset. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, listen. Once we can, once we can generate, once we can generate new social security number, it is very easy to catch that person who is using your social security number to no legal purpose. Okay. Once we can catch that person, we can prove inside the courthouse you are not a criminal, someone as using your social security number. So that is why we are contact to you because we know that you are a genuine person, you are a honest person. Yeah, I told I you there is a money laundering. Okay? Yes. Mr. Dale. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Dale, at yes. the money laundering case and name, there is a 22 fraudulent bank account is going on under your social security number and 13 credit card. So we, we are going to block all the bank accounts, whatever you have under your name. Well, don't Before block we mine. That, we need to start. Sir, sir, so that is why we need your information. Okay. okay how many bank accounts you have under your name? One, uh, one, one bank account. Okay. okay. Which bank you are banking? Chitty what bank. is your bank name? Chitty Bank. Chitty Bank. What was the balance you are in your checking account? About eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars. Yes. Okay. And what was about your saving? About twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Yes. Okay. And what? And huh. do you have any credit card? Yeah, I got a Visa. Okay. And what was your credit card name? Which bank you have a credit card? With the TD Bank. TD, the same bank you have a credit card? Yes. Okay, and what was the limit you have in your credit card? What was the limit you have in your credit I card? I think it's 5,000. Okay, 5,000. And how much, at this point, what was the available limit you have? Available balance? About $100, available. probably. Sorry? Probably about 100. And how much you can use in this that's 5, what I can. That's what I can use, 100. Okay. I got a book you can up. use only one hundred dollars. I've got it pretty well maxed out because I live on Social Security. I told you that. 
So, 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 listen. So that is why we are trying to help you, sir. Okay. okay? So do not panic. Okay. okay. Do not panic. Okay. okay. We are do oh. we are doing our best to catch that person who is using your social security number. Okay. Okay. We are doing our best. Okay? And you do you have any kind of 401k plan or IRA plan? I, I, 401k I, plan or IRA I, I, plan? I got a retirement plan from the. The Porcupine okay, Pickers, Porcupine Pickers Union, okay. from when I worked okay. in Texas. But purpose? that was years ago when I worked in Texas. Years. Okay, I mean, sir. that was the, it was the 80s when I worked at the Porcupine Farm. Okay. And what was the balance you have in your retirement plan? Oh, what was the balance you have in retirement? Probably, it's probably about eighty thousand. But 80, I don't 000. touch it. Okay. I can't touch it because. It'll be a severe don't penalty. Okay. It'll it, be a severe penalty if I use it. Okay, not a problem. So you can do one thing. Hold for a moment. Okay. Let me connect your line to the senior officer, and he will guide you what you want to do. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, hold for a moment. Okay. Yes. Thank you for holding the line. Your call has been transferred to the senior restitution officer, Sean Taylor. I believe I'm speaking with uh, Dill Duff. Correct. Dill Doe. Yes. All right. So, Mr. Dill. I believe the officer would have explained you what exactly is going on under your name. He was yelling at me. He, he yelled at me, sir. So, he, he yelled at you? Yes. I asked him a question and he started yelling at me and he said he didn't care if I reported him. His name's Kevin Brown, badge number 0227. Okay. Okay, yes. let me update that. Kevin Brown yelled at you? Yes. Badge number zero, he was zero? very, very rude. Okay. Very, very rude. Okay. Okay. Mark that down, please. Okay. No, sir, Bill, but uh, let me tell you one thing, okay? Okay. See, I'll, I'll tell you what exactly the matter is, okay? Okay. But uh, you're talking to a senior restitution officer, so but make sure you don't interrupt me in between, okay? That's what he said. You then he yelled at me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not yelling at no, you. No, he I'm yelled at me. You, but he told me not to interrupt him. I, when I asked a question, he yelled at me. Okay, fine. He yelled at you. I'll see why he yelled at you, okay? Okay. Now, should I speak? Go ahead, yes. Okay. okay. If you have any question, I'll give you a chance to ask me a question at the end. Don't interrupt me in between, okay? Okay. Uh, what's Dr. your Dr. name? I didn't get See, your name, though. What was your name again? Sean Taylor. Oh, Sean. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Uh, Bill, let's see the boy. thing that comes to Huh? What? Sorry? Sorry, go what did you say? No, I said go ahead. See, the thing is that, Mr. Bill, someone is trying to use your personal information for identity and had committed many fraudulent activity in the state of Texas, like drug trafficking and money laundering. And, you know, more than $200,000 of dollars have been wired local yeah. and internationally. Yeah, he told me all that. I believe you understand, right, what I said in the beginning. Don't interrupt. Don't say anything in between, okay? Listen to me for a well, while, you're all right? you telling me the same allow thing he did, sir. I, I, don't I know. I'm making you understand how much you talk, sir. Can't you keep quiet for a moment? I'll give you I'm a chance. I'm kind of nervous. Speak, okay? You're going to cancel my that's social what, security. I don't know why you're at you because you're not understanding. Okay, go ahead. Have patience. Listen to me for a moment, and I'll allow you to speak. Okay. okay? But if I'm talking just something else, you know, you will not be able to understand anything. Right. And it's like an argument. Okay. So don't, okay. I don't know what kind of mentality you have. You quiet, Pally. Quiet. Okay, that was my parrot. Go ahead. Okay. Now what I was saying is, see, someone is trying to use your personal information for identity, and had committed many fraudulent activity in the state of Texas, like drug trafficking and money laundering. <sighs> and you know, more than two hundred thousand of dollars mm -hmm. had been wired local mm -hmm. and international by using twenty-two bank accounts mm -hmm. including credit card. Yes. And 22 bank account and credit card is linked uh -huh. with your social and your name. So now whatever activities took place was completely against the law of us. That is why we have to sign the arrest warrant under your name what? and have to suspend your social survey by today. Arrest now warrant once for me? Goes, once this case goes to the courthouse, once you're proven guilty, you have to pay a penalty Pro charge of more than $85,000. Your bank account is going to be shut down. You will be behind the bar for next I 10 years and you won't I be able to... I don't be behind the bar? Time in future. But Mr. Bill, in regards to this, Dill. the attorney James O'Connor charge of your case. 
Yeah, whatever it is. Bill, Bill. Well, in regards to the, the attorney boy, James boy, Sapir, people are very impolite. Uh, do, do you understand much. English? Do you understand English? Do yes. you understand English? Yes. Do you what understand said, Hindi? Interrupt me. Do you understand please. Hindi, Ben Chode? Huh? Ben Kalodi? Do you understand that? Huh, you scamming fuck? You scamming bastards. Fucking yelling at an old man. Good thing you're over there, I'd punch you right in the fucking nose. Speak up, brave man. Hey, you scamming fucker. Please hold while I try to connect you. Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yeah, put Sean Taylor on the phone, please. <laughs> yeah, this this is a Taylor. How can I help you? You're Taylor, you're not Taylor. I want to talk to Sean Taylor, I said. Put him on the fucking phone. Fuck my dick, you motherfucker. That you little piece Lund. Of shit, you cocksucker. You mean that little Fuck Lund? You, bitch, you cocksucker. Fuck you. You, you Sorry? dead little Lund. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> you, you're a big tough guy on the phone, aren't you? Ooh, I'm scared. Please hold while I try to. I'm sorry. No one is available to take.